Hey guys, right now you can watch pure carbon monoxide burn. You know, I didn't bother getting carbon monoxide from forming carboxylic acid, I just got a cylinder and fed this gas directly from it. Here I've installed the two glass tubes opposite each other, and from the left tube I'll now supply oxygen. Everything burns bright in oxygen, and carbon monoxide is no exception. Since I have a gas cylinder of carbon monoxide, I didn't have much trouble condensing it into a liquid. Carbon monoxide has a triple bond like a nitrogen molecule, and also has almost the same molar mass. They even have a boiling point that differs by only 4 degrees. Here I pour liquid nitrogen on the test tube to remove the ice, so you can see the liquid carbon monoxide better. Due to the very low boiling point, we can observe a rather strong flame, which can only be reduced by cooling the test tube with liquid nitrogen. And here I am simply pouring burning carbon monoxide onto my laboratory bench. But what will happen if you pour burning liquid carbon monoxide into liquid oxygen?
If we add liquid oxygen to a test tube with burning carbon monoxide, we can get a will o -will wisp Be sure to write in the comments why you think this happens. I became interested in how much nitrous oxide would enhance the combustion of carbon monoxide, and then I added a burning carbon monoxide to liquid nitrous oxide. I didn't notice much of a difference, but to my surprise the nitrous oxide froze, and the formation of blue nitrous anhydride was noticeable on it, which you will agree is very strange for this reaction. By adding nitrous oxide to a test tube containing boron carbon monoxide, I observed a similar reaction, where nitrous oxide solidified and the formation of nitrous anhydride was observed. And now I'll show you some more interesting chemical reactions with carbon monoxide. This pinkish white powder is iodic anhydride, iodine pentoxide. If we add carbon monoxide to it, nothing will happen. But if we heat it slightly, then the reaction with liquid carbon monoxide will occur very violently. Even before contact with the liquid itself, iodic anhydride powder reacts with gaseous carbon monoxide to form violet fumes of elemental iodine, and carbon monoxide is converted to carbon dioxide.
Look, the yellow liquid in this flask is a solution of palladium dichloride. Palladium ions are very sensitive to carbon monoxide, and when palladium solutions come into contact with it, elemental palladium is formed. Yes, it may look strange to you adding liquefied gas to a salt solution instead of bubbling, but in some situations it can be much more convenient and the rules of chemistry don't prohibit it. After the completion of the reaction, the solution became paler, due to a decrease in the concentration of palladium dichloride, since a noticeable part of it turned into palladium metal. And this is the Tollens reagent. This solution, when interacting with reducing agents, forms silver in the form of a black precipitate or a shiny mirror. In addition to many organic substances, such as aldehydes, sugars, hydroxy carboxylic acids, this reagent also produces a silver precipitate upon contact with carbon monoxide. The next very interesting reaction that I have prepared for you is the reaction of carbon monoxide with nitrogen dioxide. There is chromium hexacarbonyl in the test tube. Upon contact with nitric acid, this substance decomposes, and during this reaction nitrogen dioxide and carbon monoxide are formed. Now, if we bring an open flame to the tip of the test tube, a reaction will occur between carbon monoxide and nitrogen dioxide. In this case, colored nitrogen dioxide is converted into colorless nitrogen monoxide and carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide. Well, now let's see what happens if I add liquid boring carbon monoxide to liquid nitrogen dioxide. Do you think manganese heptoxide can ignite liquid carbon monoxide on contact? Surprisingly, it doesn't seem to react to it at all. Well, I'll help it do so with my butane torch. Here is a video about liquid carbon monoxide. I hope you liked it. Special thanks to all my patrons and especially Jeff Ramberg. Thanks to you, I can continue to create unique chemical content. Feel free to leave your comments and suggestions down below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.